Hi, it's Ka'uakea. How are you guys doing? I wanted to talk about the Aries new moon coming up this Sunday, April 11th. We've got a number of planets that will be in Aries um, right now. The Sun and Venus, uh, Chiron and the asteroid Ceres, as well as Mercury are all in the sign of Aries saying, come on, let's light a fire. Let's start something new. Let's initiate. Let's do it. And so how do we activate that fire in a way that starts new beginnings and that doesn't create a lot of um, tension and fighting? Um, Eris is there too, a dwarf planet that really is about this chaos and this sense of discord that can really break things apart. And its job is to break things apart so something new can happen. Eris has been in the sign of Aries for a very, very long time. Uh, this new moon's at 22 degrees, uh, sun and moon together on Sunday in Aries, this very cardinal sign that can be the warrior or can be the inner child. It really is about just this exuberance and this desire and this courage for going for what we want. Often the fires when they come up too strong, can create discord and disharmony and all kinds of problems. So how do we act on our own behalf, do something that uh, helps us to embody and to say, here's what I want, here's what I'm gonna do, I'm independent. So let's take a look at the chart. So here we have all the planets, uh, in Aries, I don't have the glyph for Eris up there, but Chiron is here at nine degrees, Mercury at 14. Ceres, the great mother that says, how do I wanna be nurtured? Let your, let your instincts, let Aries show you what do you want and how can you empower yourself to be independent and have that nurturing? What about the sun and moon here, the great kiss of the yin yang at 22 degrees? What house does that fall in your chart? This chart is for Hanukkah, so it's falling here at 4.30 uh, p.m. on Sunday in the uh, seventh house. So depending on the house in your own birth chart that this is transiting, it may be activating issues in your career or in your home life, or maybe to do with your finances. This is where an astrology reading can be really helpful to help you navigate or learn how to know what sign the moon is in when it's new moon or full moon and see what house in your chart is being activated. So Mars continues through uh, the sign of Gemini. So we might really have things to say um, with this much um, Aries energy. We may just really throw some words out there, not really thinking before we speak. So just mindfulness on all of that. We've still got Jupiter for a short time in the sign of Aquarius next month in May. It will move into Pisces uh, until midsummer and that will change the vibration significantly. Saturn is still here in Aquarius and Pluto's in for the long haul, completing um, its long journey since 2008 in the sign of Capricorn. So I just wanted to share a little bit on how you can embody during this next new moon in, in Aries to just feel a little bit wild, a little bit free, but also notice the words coming out of your mouth learn about patience because Aries always acts before it thinks and learn how to be kind to yourself, know what you want and uh, see if you can get it. <laughs> All right. Aloha.